Hey there, welcome friends. Here we are with the 221. Thanks so much for visiting. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell. There's a surprise clip at the end of this film, so stick around to the end for that. In this video, we will show three or four things. The first thing we're going to do is how to store the machine in the box and lock and unlock the box. Secondly, we will remove and replace the bulb and talk about the, the light switch. Thirdly, we are able to turn on the light but get no response from the motor so we'll look at that and at the end, like I said earlier, we have a surprise clip for us which I think we'll all enjoy. So thanks for stopping in, thanks for, for watching and please do subscribe. If you hit the notification bell when the menu comes up hit all and every time I publish a new video here at Jeb Adams, you'll get a little reminder that it's time to, to have some fun and learn while we play with sewing machines. It is quite simple to pack up the machine. We raise the extension bed and th this machine is 79 years old so I'm very gentle with these very nice, very in good condition <laughs> That's what I was trying to avoid, but that one I got. Here's the, the accessories, and I would like to bring the keys out. They are right there, and you'll notice that there is a, a little cutaway hole, orifice, in the bed of that, on the back, bottom of that. In here, is the foot pedal and an oil can that is has a, a holder in there but this oil is probably 70 whatever years old as well so I'm going to take the foot pedal out of there I'm going to put the, the 221 in and then that is why we have the hole in the bottom of this top part. And it doesn't feel like it's seating quite correctly. There we'll try it out there. I think we got it there. Now that needs to be down there like that. Very somewhat gently. And there we close those, and here are the keys. So we'll play with this for a minute. See, it says keys. Oops, and there they are. Wrong way. Yes, it's locked now. So I'll unlock it. Good enough. Now we'll go over here. That's still unlocked. There, I felt the, I felt it rotate. I felt the the bolt or whatever inside there. That's locked there now. So it, it locks. This, you know, this uh, sewing machine, this whole kit here, is, is, it's in quite good condition. And I would say on a 10, I think an 8.5 or a 9. But I'm not a professional. I'm just speculating. I'm guessing. But I think the original receipt with you know the purchasers and sellers details I think that could possibly add a lot of value so there we have it there is the sewing machine put away here's the light switch and it is just a light switch it just controls the, the light we're looking at the singer name 
on the Singer light. The, the Singer name is written, written on the, the shroud that goes over the bulb. And that bulb is not a screw-in type bulb. It's uh, what's referred to or what's called a bayonet type. You push it in until you feel a little bit of gentle pushback and then you turn it usually to the right. And there's a pin on the, you know, the, the hub or the wheel of the, the bulb where it goes in there. And uh, that's how it uh, is done. So I'm just going to back out a bit on the, on the zoom here. There, I think we can still see. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing in. And I've turned, and I am right-handed, and even though I'm right-handed, it has come out. So, okay, so there you see the bulb in there, and if I want to remove it, I push it in, and I turn it to the left, and it comes out, and you can see the, the two contacts there. If I want to replace it, I line it up until I feel these these posts, one here, one there, line up with the slot, so it'll go into the slot. And I'm turning it to the right because when I get it lined into the slots, there we go, it's in the slots. Now I'm going to move it to the right, and it should be tight. It wasn't the first time there, it's tight there now. So, so that's how that's done. I hope you're able to see what I was doing there. There's another G there. Once again, push in a little bit. It is a little bit awkward, but it doesn't take much to get it to line out. And there it is, and then I think I actually put it right in the slots, right? And there, we're good, we're tight. So there was a two or three views on on how that's done. It it is different not having threads. I, I must say that, but it doesn't take much time, and you know if you're gentle and you take your time. You can't you can't really strip the posts or the or the receptacle unless you really really use too much force and damaged it. So anyway, that's that part there. Okay, so I took a look at it, and we should do this together because to put this plug in, it's not a lot of work. It goes in just like that. There there is an issue here with tape, and there's some looseness here. There's too much slack there, I don't really like that. Anytime I see tape being used as a long-term solution, tape, electrical tape is really for, for you know, minor insulation, you know, like inside a, a plug or something like that, but it's not meant to, you know, carry electricity for decades or, or many decades. So that will have to be uh, really looked at or tested, what have you. Maybe some heat shrink. Anyway, I'll plug this in. Let's see what this light does. Okay, so the light is on. And now we'll press the, the play button. <laughs> Let me get those out of the way. Those are really valuable. Where the one is, especially. And we'll see what kind of response we get. Nothing. We have electricity. I'm not getting a shock. Let's unplug this now at the receptacle. And that's the other thing, I always keep the machines, when I'm doing just basic regular non-electrical maintenance on them, but, and that's good because we'll take another look at our, our pretty 221, that beautifully engineered machine, and we'll have some, some more fun with it in the second video of this series. This is the end of the first video. Thank you for for coming and watching. I appreciate your support. Please do like 
If you want to be notified every time I publish, uh, hit the notification bell by the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and the little all, hit the all icon when you hit the little bell. And every time I publish or post a, a little film, we'll get to have some more fun learning with these little show and tell classes. Once again, uh, adios amigos and uh, merci beaucoup. Thank you very much my friends. Okay my friends, here's the bonus clip that I mentioned at the beginning of the, the film. Uh, glad you made it to the end. Hope you made it all, all the way in between too. And thanks again. Please subscribe. Have fun. Stay safe. Adios, amigos. Okay, let's see if we can figure out what's going on with this motor down here. Of course, the machine is unplugged. I have to replace that bed cushion. That's where some of these scratches are coming. But this is not fun. This is not fine furniture by any stretch of the imagination. But I can stand it. Surprise! What we see? Right there we see a lot of greasy looking oil on the wiring and there's some fraying there whether that's an issue or not. There is the other end of that electrical tape that we were looking at down there. Actually at the previously on the previous video. So there's the serial number. AH987511 so that's an issue, that's why our motor isn't working. It's sorted out or something. I'm, I'm, I shouldn't speculate because we'll have to investigate and uh, then we'll have to uh, make sure that we put it all back together good and well. So that's pretty exciting. Thanks again. Please subscribe. Adios amigos.